In a fantastic interview with Dr. Joel Kahn, Dr. Greger shared the six new foods he's added to his diet because of all the research he's done for his new book, How Not to Age, which is available for pre-order now and will be released in December. Now, one of the foods he mentions is oyster mushrooms. And because Dr. Greger has talked at length about the importance of adding mushrooms to our diet, we haven't added them to the list of six. He also shares some interesting information on berries and how a common berry we can buy at the store has bumped blueberries from their top spot. So now let's hear from Dr. Michael Greger and then we'll come back and look at an interesting study. I mean, some things I never even heard about going into it, like papale, this long pepper spice, which I'd never heard of. You can get an Indian spice store, may have senolytic properties. Same thing with the fison and strawberries. I was always doing blueberries, blackberries, the dark, but turns out there's something in strawberries. Basically not found concentrated anywhere else. You're going to miss out if you don't get it. Um, so I've been doing a lot more strawberries. Wheat germ. Been mixing wheat germ with my ground flax, the most concentrated and cheapest source of fermity. Another reason why I've been eating more tempeh, also uh, mushrooms. I've been growing my own oyster mushrooms for that, um, not only the spermidine, but the ergothionine. My, and so just like you can grow, you know, sprouts on your windowsill, you can grow mushrooms. Who knew about it? Eating uh, cardamom, I wasn't doing it before. I'm trying to think what else. I mean, these are... Yeah. All things that, you know, just, you know, I thought I was doing great, but, you know, you can always get a level up. As you can hear, that interview with Dr. Khan was great fun, and I highly recommend you watch the interview in full. Also, as Dr. Greger mentioned, Pippa Longumine in Long Pepper has senolytic properties, which are able to selectively kill senescent cells, protecting against age-related disorders. Senescent cells are unique cells that stop multiplying but don't die off when they should, Instead, they remain and continue to release chemicals that can trigger inflammation. But what is also exciting is this study found pipolongumine is selectively toxic to cancer cells, and it does this by generating reactive oxygen species. And the researchers concluded, our findings indicate that pipolongumine exhibits anti-tumor activity and has the potential for use as a chemotherapeutic agent against thyroid cancer. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.